Hi, thanks for joining me in the Problem Solver 38 tutorial. You have hopefully taken the opportunity to read through the problem on your own. Let's take a look at some of the important information. I will read the beginning. It says the blacks, the browns, the whites, and the greens, four married couples, are playing a card game. If they are arranged at two separate tables, where is each one sitting? It then gives us lots of information on who could be sitting where and who is married to who. So. The first thing I'm going to go through is find out some of my important information. I know that I have the black family, the brown family, the white family, and the green family. If you take a look near the bottom of the tutorial, you'll see those names listed out. Then I need to find out what the women's names are. Mary has already been done for me. I then can read through and I find out that we have a woman named Jennifer, Suzanne, and Arlene. For the men, John is already listed at a table, and then we have Paul, Peter, and Alan already listed out, or in our information that we can list out. So let's get started. It says that no black is across from a green or a brown. Well, that must mean that the greens and the browns are across from each other, and therefore the whites and the blacks must be across from each other. I'm just going to set them up this way for now, and then we can work that around if that information helps us later. Married couples are not at the same table. Well, that's great to know, but we can't use that just yet. Mary is across from Jennifer's husband. I already know where Mary's sitting, so I'm going to make a note to myself. This is Jennifer's husband. I'm going to use the letter H to represent husband. Next, John's wife is to Mary's left. Well, if I was sitting where Mary's sitting, my left would be this way. And we said that that is John's wife, so I'll put a W. And John's wife is also across from Arlene's husband. So directly across must be Arlene's husband. We know that John is opposite of Alan's wife. So over here, this one must be Alan's wife. So we've used this clue, this clue, this clue, and this clue. I'm going to leave that second clue because we know it, but we haven't quite used it yet. Next clue, Paul's wife is on John's left. So here's John. Again, here's his left. We have Paul's wife and across from Mary's husband. So this must be Mary's husband. I've used this clue. I also know that John's partner is a brown. Typically when we play cards, when we're doing the card games, we are partnered up with the person across from us. Therefore, I'll use my black to show that I know that John's partner is a brown. Once I figure that out, I know that the browns are always across from the greens. So John must be John Green. Well, if I know John's wife is sitting over here, I know that her last name must be Green. Moving on. Peter's wife is on Suzanne's right. Hmm. Peter's wife is on Suzanne's right. So I'm going to look at the different women. So I have a female here in Mary, and I have a female here for John's wife. I have a female here. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Mary's husband. I have Paul's wife here and Alan's wife here. So I know that Suzanne, or Peter's wife, is on Suzanne's right. Well, that doesn't quite tell me anything yet, but I know I can come back to that in a little bit. Mary's partner is not a black. So we know that this person does not equal black. Oh, and I happen to be writing in black. How nice. I'm going to take a pause here. I'm going to ask you to go through the clues that we haven't checked off yet and see if you can finish out this problem. And if not, and even if you do, please join me on Problem Solver 38 Part 2 in a moment. Thank you.